Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a cool team you can use for this class trial in Oracle. First things first though, go to the shop, grab yourself a tier 1, this will give you a potion of enchantment amongst other things. Really cool, all your troops will start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for the entirety of this event, and you get some other stuff at the same time too. Pretty cool. At tier 5 there is a weapon, the Staff of Visions, but it is the class mythic weapon though, and that means that when you achieve 250 class wins in Oracle, you get it for free, so no need to actually spend a load of gems to get this far and pick it up right now. It is a pretty cool weapon though, gives an ally magic plus 1 to a random skill and then gives them barrier and 3 to 15 mana. And the upgrades are pretty cool too. Dusk is destroy a random purple gem. Lucky, you get plus two to random stats at the start. Curing, you cleanse yourself. Enchanting, it chants itself. Really, really good upgrades on that. All right, so we can battle these champions in any order you like. Let's start on Queen Mab first. And the team I'm going to use for this is Hippolyta, Arboreal Crystal, and two times Bull Tauros. Bull Tauros does a scatter damage boosted by his life at a one-to-one -one ratio, so whatever number is on his life is how much the boost is going to be, so that is a very effective way of dishing out some effective damage if he gets charged up in time. As well as that, we have the Arboreal Crystal, explodes magic plus one green gems, grants a random status effect to all elementals, which we do not care about, then summons a elemental. But the upgrades are really cool on this as well. When you cast this, you'll entangle the top troop, which is really handy, keeps you safe from skull damage, and leaf causes a leaf storm, which is super useful for our hippo litter. Does magic-based damage to an enemy, then creates three green gems boosted by centaur allies. If you've been doing the journey event, you'll know exactly how this troop works. Very good indeed, and excellent in first place, placing Hunter's Mark on enemies when doing skull damage with a 50% chance to ignore that armor with skull damage very very cool indeed so basically we'll loop with her if we want we can soften the enemies up and uh, a bull toros will just cause a lot of uh, scatter damage to finish people off the first it could be just quicker to cast this and finish them off should they get charged up but either way it should be very very straightforward right let's take a look at the banner for this gonna go for the plus two green plus one yellow minus one brown armored banner if you don't have this one because it is a warband banner then just pick anything else that's got a nice plus two green benefit oracle class nothing too fantastic about this part here but um, the talents do actually work okay with it serendipity is okay leading light if you switch the positions around which you can do you'll gain 10 armor Brilliant Aura. All allies gain two life on four or five gem matches. And remember, we can loop with Hippolyta at the same time and get that all the time. Celestial Currents. All Centaur allies gain one magic. Mentor. All allies gain one more magic, which is handy. And Tree of Knowledge. Gain enchant when matching green gems, which we're doing pretty much all the time. All right, let's start on Queen Mab. Missed out the very first set of stages because it's so straightforward, super easy, it is crazy. We'll grab that when it's there though, because if this dude gets charged up, you can do it absolutely straight away. Wipe out the enemy in a single cast if you do enough damage. One times our new medal, two times nauseous for this to give you a slightly quicker start regarding mana. And a nice little boost in damage. Again, we'll grab that. Feel like you're going to get your bull toss up straight away. You can actually bypass the hippo litter at the top completely and just go for the bull toss way. Loads of damage overall. And you can pick off any stragglers with hippo litter. Or you can do it the other way around. You can hit a couple of troops with hippo litter first and then cast bull toss because scatter damage will spread across the entire range of foes, wiping them all out. So she's up next round anyway, so let's get her ready so we can bash them out of it. I'm going to grab that because it's there. And finish off. Nice and easy. Come on then. Hindler. With your frosty crown. Right, let's grab that. There's no green or yellow left, so we'll grab something for our... Bultoros, because of the Potion of Enchantment, they're ready next round. And bash them all out of there. Very straightforward. Let's take on Liang, and then I'll jump forward and do some slightly higher enemies. 
it's still going to be super straightforward with this team. I'm sure people have been using this troop in Journey. Really effective, really good. Excellent skull damage as well with this troop. Really, really like her a lot. Look at that. You can pick people off lower down the order. If you get any skull damage come from the top, it's going to do absolutely hideous damage. Oh, and they barely survived. But she's been sent back in. Right, I've jumped forward a little bit into these slightly more difficult enemies, but still an absolute walk in the park with this team. There is a correct order to cast things in, though. Just try and go through that now. So if your Hippolyta gets up like that, what you're going to want to do is cast the troops from anybody that's not on top, basically. And the reason is, when you do this, when you loop with her, you may get some random skull drops down. And when they do that, you're just going to wipe out the that enemy really, really quickly a lot of the time. Hasn't happened yet. But when it does, the combination of the way she works, massive skull damage look, if that dropped down randomly, then it makes mega short work of the opposition. You can obviously cast your bull Tauros as well in a single cast if you do plenty of damage. We've got a weapon sitting there as well, ready to gain some emergency mana if we need it. Root trap the top troop. Very handy indeed. Let's see if we get in that situation. Right, so here again we cast this on the bottom troop. Let's see if we get any random skull drops drop down from this as we do this. Now, I didn't actually loop that time. There will be times when it doesn't loop has to happen at some point it would be a bit boring if it genuinely was a non-stop infinite loop could have cast my bull Turos then as well finish off the other way to do it if you don't want to take out the enemies individually one at a time with Hippolyta is the softening approach let's try and show what I mean by that let's get her charged up first Take yellow if you can, if it's there, because the more green which are on the board gives her a better chance of looping. This time, what you're going to do is hit the enemy once with Hippolyta. You can soften them all up. Doesn't really make a lot of difference because scatter damage spreads out between the enemies. It's just a way that I do it. And then that scatter damage just finishes them all off. The advantage of doing that when the Val Raven is there is you don't actually kill anybody until the last moment because when you kill someone when the Val Raven is there it's going to cause a dark storm which is purple which is a colour you don't really want on the board a lot of the time. We want more green. Guarantee more green by collecting mana for the weapon. And let's wait for the weapon to get charged. It's ready next round if you need more green, you can cast that. That's going to cause a leaf storm. There you go. Green gems for more than the other colours. Let's uh, cast Bultoros back to back to finish off. And Hippolyta wasn't needed because those Bultoros done the job. Very nice team. Lots of different ways to go about it and very safe at the same time. When you cast your Arboreal Crystal, you're going to entangle the top troop as well as cause that leaf storm. Very, very nifty indeed. All right, let's get Hippolyta ready. Let's start casting on troops. The reason I do this on single opponent is it's good habit to get into just in case the Val Raven is there. You're not actually killing the troops, getting them in range. It was probably well in range a long time ago, but I'm trying to think of, of players that aren't haven't got the same stats as me sort of thing. But as long as you get it to within range of your ball to us, you can just cast one of them or both of them back to back whatever you prefer and make short work of it but that'll do for that that shows how the team works really effective very straightforward grab your rewards at the end and there it is there's the video if you enjoyed it why not bash that like and subscribe button it really does help but most of all thanks for watching i'll catch you again next time bye for now